You'll see the drone. Alright, let's see it. The city of San Diego is the eighth largest city in the country. So when we do something big, it does have a ripple effect and we can set an example for the rest of the country and sometimes even the rest of the world. We set a target of being 100% renewable in our electricity sector by 2035. We've been really going big on sustainability, I would say, and climate action. Super ambitious, also a really big challenge. Data is really the foundation for how we know how well we're doing. We have so many moving parts, so many different inputs of activities and information, and so many different services happening at the same time. It's something we don't often think about, but everything runs on electricity and energy. We have about 30,000 streetlights in the city of San Diego. There are these tall, vertical, 40-foot poles that currently are very single-use. They just shine light. <laughs> We're installing 14,000 of those with GE's LED streetlights. A subset of those, about 3,200 streetlights, that will have GE's sensors attached to them. So the opportunities there to track air quality, to having camera technologies that can track cars and people and bikes, and it has audio capabilities, all sorts of things you can now know by having real-time information. That's all, again, from that one single 40-foot pole that we had. We have a lot of people that just drive alone in their cars now, and that's the way the city was originally designed. It's very typical of California, and we're trying to shift that to get 50% of people to get around by biking, walking, or using some form of transit. We're constantly tracking things and measuring what we're doing, and that allows us to really know objectively if something's working and how we can improve it. The rollout of the sensor technology with Current by GE, it's the largest rollout of city IoT technology in the country. The platform we're building for San Diego allows for open access to all this city data from these connected streetlight nodes. The goal is for third parties and developers to use the platform to build solutions for the city. Using sensors and software on top of existing infrastructure is what Current is all about. The ability to share data and collectively make San Diego run better is really valuable for everyone. It's amazing. It's a really <laughs> cool way to see the city. The exciting part really is the democratization of data. It's accessibility where there really wasn't a lot before. Getting really granular data about where I live and things that actually affect me, there's something kind of awesome about that level of precision, how to better understand maps and models of what's happening around us. Where businesses have more pedestrian traffic, for example. Or, you know, population density or how people move and how you guys plan changes to the city. I think it's just cool to think about how it's going to be made with, with better tools and more data and more insight. Developers can take that information and come up with ideas that we never even thought of. I think as a reference point, visualizations like this are a great ground truth. These are tools that are aiding the work that's being done to build the future. If we set these big goals, unless we're tracking at a very specific level, we don't know, one, how we're doing, and two, how we can be doing better. You can't manage what you don't measure. So in that sense, data is the foundation or the brains behind saving energy. Data is awesome. Data is the new bacon. <laughs> it really feels like these big problems of energy efficiency and everything that it can mean for a city are actually solvable. I think we're really at the beginning of a really cool energy transition.